Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome back to another No Man's Sky ship hunting video. And in today's video, guys, I'm not posting my own ship. This is somebody else's ship. I usually post my own, but this is quite a special spawn, so I thought I'd uh, put it on YouTube. I got this. Uh, I got the address for this ship from the Reddit portal exchange, and this was posted by Zach X K K K. So big shout out to them for posting this on the exchange. Guys, we've got awesome one today. So, see my little guppy behind me. Well, we're going to a system where the guppy is gold, exactly the same as mine, but gold. But this is even better because it doesn't just spawn once, it spawns twice in the first wave. Okay? So, free up some spaces on your freighter because you can make some nanites out of this. And what I mean is that when the ship's spawned, buy them. And then go scrap them, get the S-Class modules, and then go sell the nanites. Easy way to make nanites. Or you can just keep the ship. But, as I said, I've tested this four times, and I think three times it spawned twice, and the first time it just spawned what? It's a, it's a guaranteed first wave ship, but three out of four times it came in twice. So it's a real novelty, this one. So uh, if you do find this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button. And if you are new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to click subscribe, tick the little notification bell. I'm going to stop jabbering and let's go and find the ship. Okay then guys, I'm at the portal. Uh, if you're new to ship hunting or you want to go and grab this ship, of course you would need all 16 portal glyphs. You need you to have passed the Artemis quest. Or you can check out this video on the screen right now. Uh, it's in the playlist of my videos and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, so you can find all 16 portal glyphs a different way. It's up to you which way you want to do it um, But you'll need all 16 glyphs to find this ship. So we'll need to activate the portal And the address is bird bird ant rocket triangles wigwam rocket whale whale spinny galaxy thing boat and rocket okay so the portal has activated i'm going to run through and i'll catch you on the other side see you in a bit okay then guys i'm through the portal there's a horrendous storm I'm going to jump into my ship and we are heading towards the space station. Okay then guys, we're just pulling up at the space station. And while I remember, while doing this, make sure your multiplayer is switched off. Because other players will want to be doing this as well. More than one player in the space station at once will start messing up the rotation of the ships. So just make, keep that in mind. Okay, now we've landed. What I want you to do is to exit your ship. Go to options and just quickly reload your autosave. Okay then guys, the uh, autosave has reloaded. I'm going to nip up here to my usual haunt and wait for the ships to come in. This should be a first wave ship, so it shouldn't take long. Okay, the first guppy in. Let's scan it. That's an 18 and 5. Is it going to come in again? Here we go. Here's number 2. So how cool is that? And that's a 16 4. So it's, it's quite random that it spawns twice. Because... In between the last time, when I turned up at the space station, I've reloaded three times. The ship has come in first time every time. Let me just quickly grab the ship. The ship comes in first time every time, but not every time it spawns double. Okay, so let's buy this ship. Make an offer on the life form ship. Negotiate the price. 8 million, 18 slot. We're going to snag it. And this one's over here to buy as well. So all you have to do, guys, if you want to make some nanites, 
is buy these two ships, take them up and scrap them. It will give you storage augmentation. It will give you S-Class modules, which you can either keep or you can sell for nanites. And then all you have to do is to jump back into your original ship and reload your autosave. Both the ships will turn up again, hopefully. Sometimes it'll be one, sometimes it'll be two. It's not guaranteed double spawning all the time, but this is a first wave ship. What a classic find. Big shout out again to Zach XKKK for posting this. What an awesome ship. I don't usually post other people's ships very often, but I thought this was uh, quite an important find and you people should really be able to grab this ship. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna nip into our ship on New Guppy and take it out for a bit of a spin. Look at that, my little white one over there. Before I show you guys, so this one is 18.5. I think mine was a 25 or something like that. I've maxed mine out. It's a 48.21 now. So you can really max these ships out. I've got on mine, uh, my hyperdrive is massive. I think it's one uh, 2,500. Maneuverability is 844. You can really max these ships out. Even though they're so small, they're tiny, they're actually bigger than a hauler <laughs> if you max them out. How weird is that? Let's take this ship out for a bit of a spin. Double spawn, eh? How good is that? What a great looking ship. Let's take a quick look around it, shall we? So there you have it guys. If you want this awesome little ship, or you want the double spawn and make some nanites, disable multiplayer. I suggest you do that. Don't trip over any other players that are trying to grab this ship. Go through the portal, head to the space station, reload your auto save after you've exited your ship, and wait for the ship to come in. It won't come in double every time, but you will see it first time every time. And if you've liked this video, don't forget to click the like button. And if you are new to the channel and want to see more videos like this, then click the subscribe button. Check out the playlist of ships that we've got. We've got so many ships now. And as always, guys, it's been a pleasure. And I will see you in the next video. Take it easy. Catch you later.